Kevin Helms has led North Dakota's Department of Mineral Resources, Oil and Gas Division for years. He's stepping down at the end of the week, and he spoke with Michael Anthony about his 26-year career. When Lynn Helms started his job in July 1998, North Dakota's oil and gas industry was staring down a dramatic downturn. Crude oil in northern North Dakota got down to $3.86 a barrel. February of 1999, we hit zero drilling rigs. First time since 1950. Initially, the work was about keeping companies afloat. That all changed nearly a decade later when new technology showed the vast potential of the Bakken. We realized now we had a 16,000 square mile oil field on our hands, you know, not, not 300 or, or 3,000 square miles, but 16,000 square miles. Um, nobody could be prepared for what came. The boom brought a drastic increase to Helm's workload as the Department of Mineral Resources looked to keep up with the changing landscape. Many, many, many late nights and lots of meetings. Some of those meetings included showing and teaching government officials and legislators about the industry and explaining the boom to the people most impacted right in their neighborhoods. Well, four different governors, uh, three attorney generals and two ag commissioners, uh, none from the oil field. and uh, and. On top of that, lots of cowboys in gymnasiums uh, who were wondering what was going to happen to their farm or ranch. Helms witnessed the peak of the boom. 2011 was a year when we set a record every single month. Uh, rig counts, oil production, gas production, uh, water disposal, you, you name it. And had to deal with the challenges that came afterwards. I'll never forget the meeting uh, in the House Majority Leader's office. Uh, when the, uh, the price war of 2014-2015 came. And we realized that uh, our budget was in serious, serious troubles. Lessons were learned from that downturn, which helped Helms with some new ideas during the pandemic. So we came up with the uh, CARES Act uh, orphan well plugging process. And we managed to preserve almost 7,000 jobs through COVID. Um, so... Sorry. As he sets it apart on a new journey, Helms says he's proud of his staff. That's the team. Uh, those are the folks that are going to be responsible for uh, keeping this thing going uh, over, over the next 20 years or so. And uh, following that, a couple of generations, I hope. And the relationships he's formed with people all interested in North Dakota's resources. In Bismarck, I'm Michael Anthony, reporting for your news leader.